Uh, well, it all stemmed from my, my father who opened Southport's first DIY shop in 1945 and he repaired lawnmowers and uh, he ended up with a big pile of scrap old lawnmowers in the back that were uneconomical to repair, uh, there were no parts available for them. Because they were made by such good companies like Royal Enfield who's famous for the motorbikes and Rolls Royce, we started restoring them and we collected all the original patents, the blueprints and all the history and uh, that's where it sort of all stemmed from. I've got one or two um, lawnmowers dotted about the house, uh, some from um, the, the mid 1850s and some of the um, very early toy lawnmowers. Um, the toy lawnmowers are, are quite rare. We've preserved some of those um, so um, people can see them. I think half the people in Britain love cutting the grass and half the people in Britain hate cutting the grass. So it just depends on which category you come in. Uh, some find it a really relaxing hobby. Uh, job well done when they've finished looking at the lawn. It's got nice and groomed and lovely stripes. Um, and then other people, they just find it a chore and don't like it. But there's always the robot lawnmowers for them. When Edwin Budding invented the lawnmower in 1830, everybody thought he was a lunatic and a madman for inventing such a contraption. And um, he had to test the machine at night time so nobody would see him. Lots of people uh, ring us up and say, oh, it's uh, Brian May here from the Rock Band Queen and I've got an old lawnmower and would you like it? Um, there's uh, Hilda Ogden's from Coronation Street and Nicholas Parsons, uh, Alan Titchmarsh, uh, we've got Joe Pasquale, Strimmer, um, or oh, lots of people. It makes it nice and interesting um, and all the different types of machines that they've had uh, for cutting their, their lawns. Uh, lots of people come and, and visit and they come from all over the world, especially uh, the Americans because uh, they really don't have our lawn mowing history. Um, so they sort of come in and say, oh is this the Lawn Mower Museum? And uh, we've just visited Hampton Court and now we're visiting the British Lawn Mower Museum. And then after here we're going across that cute little river to France. Well, I think lawnmower is a, a, a very traditional household item now. Um, so I think a lot of people, there's certainly a lot of people that come down to the museum that uh, collect old lawnmowers just in their, their everyday houses. Lots of people have got sort of uh, eight or nine of them. Um, and, you know, they, it's something that they don't want to throw away. I got a phone call one day and they said, would you like to go in the IKEA book? And I said, Yes, don't mind. So here I am. <laughs>